It's an ombre with, with chalk. Hair chalking is a thing. Maybe it's a very old thing, last season thing. I just recently um, started doing it and I'm in love with it because they're like temporary highlights that I'm semi in control of. Pardon the two booby looking things on my wall. When you let a boy decorate your room, this is what happens. So. What you're gonna need, one, a big old towel that you can mess up, preferably one that you have already messed up like I have with this one here. And you're just gonna wanna toss this over your shoulders and close it so that you can ruin the towel and not your clothes. A water bottle to spritz your hair and the chalk, and some hair chalk. This is from Free People, you can use any hair chalk, but I especially liked the pinks and the yellows and the oranges from this one. And your favorite hairspray. This one is from Bumble and Bumble, it smells like heaven. I'm starting off by spritzing my hair with the water bottle, just dampening it enough to actually grab on to the color of the hair chalk. Probably still works if your hair is wet from just getting out of the shower, but I found this method much easier so that I can still style it after. And then I'm going to dampen the chalk with the water bottle again, for extra grabbage. And starting from the bottom, well, midway from my hair to the bottom, I'm going to, well, get paint all over it myself. And also just kind of swipe the hair with the chalk from the side and then kind of just color it on like a four-year-old on a coloring book. It's gonna be messy, but in the end, I promise it will be cute. And I'm just going to color it midway through my hair all the way down to the bottom, making the color more amplified and more intense towards the ends of my hair. And then I'm going to kind of just sporadically place colors in my hair, kind of just where I want them to lay randomly. I'm just going to draw all over my hair with different color chalk. I'm next going in with this like orange color, which is really nice if you already have highlights in your hair. And again, just swiping the tips and kind of working my way up. And at the crown, leading down towards the other color, making sure the hair is more saturated with color towards the tips. And then it's time for the other side. I'm gonna go in with this burnt orange color and do the same thing. Kind of just swipe it in there, use the side of the chalk to really get the color in. Sporadically place those colors, concentrating at the tips. And you can place these colors anywhere you want as long as it looks like they're blending in and not just like, splotches of color. And then framing the layers around my face and then voila, you are done. Hair chopped. So after I let it dry, I curled it. And if you wanna know how I got these curls, I did a video about it like a year ago. Where have you been, huh? But I'm gonna link you right here so you can see that. Very, very simple. Maybe it took me all of five, seven minutes to curl my hair. And then I finished it off with that hairspray. So hair chalking, do you dig it? Is this kind of weird for you? I know I've tried it a million different times, and the only way that it works for me is to have damp hair first, or to like saturate the chalk in water and let it soak up the water before trying to apply it. Coming soon, I'm gonna share with you my secrets on getting really long, thick, healthy eyelashes naturally. Then there's also some things that I do with makeup to make them appear longer and fuller. I'm gonna share all those secrets with you, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next week.